So I want to find the equation of the line in both point-slope form and in general form. And uh, that line that we're going to create is going to be passing through this point and perpendicular to this line here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is label this point x1, comma, y1. Next, I want to find the slope of this line that's given. So what I'm going to do is solve this for y. Um, so let's add 9x to both sides. So that leaves me with 8y plus 3 equals 9x. And then I'll subtract 3. 8y is 9x minus 3. And then the last thing is to divide both sides by 8. y is 9 over 8 times x minus 3 over 8. So the slope of this line that's given is the number that's in front of this x. It is 9 over 8. Okay, so because the line that we're making is going to be perpendicular to the line that's given, I don't want to use the slope of the line given. I want to, I want to use its negative reciprocal, the negative reciprocal of this slope, which is negative 8 over 9. And that's the slope that we want to use for the line that we're going to create. So in point-slope form, here's the form that we're going to use. This is the equation of the line in point-slope form. So I just need to substitute those values in here. y minus 3 equals negative 8 over 9 times x minus a negative 8. Clean this up a little bit. y minus 3 is negative 8 over 9 x plus 8. And that is the equation of the line in point slope form. Next, what I want to do is write the equation of this line, but I want to write it in general form. And the easiest thing to do here is to go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by 9. And why do I do that? Well, I see that I have a denominator here that has a 9 in it, and I don't want to deal with these fractions. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 9, and I'm going to eliminate that denominator. I'm going to eliminate that fraction. Okay, so on the left-hand side, I have... 9 times y minus 9 times a negative 3, that's a negative 27. On the right hand side, this 9 and this 9 in the denominator are going to divide out, and that leaves you with negative 8 times x, that's a negative 8x, and negative 8 times a positive 8, that's a negative 64. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is, is move all the terms on one side of the equation to the other side. And the, so one side is going to have all the terms, and the other side is going to have a 0. So we have 9y, and I'm going to add 8x to both sides. And then I'm going to add 64 to both sides. So let's see, 64 minus 27, that would be 37. And then on the right-hand side, I have a zero, and that is general form.